Welcome to Academic Web Services Training. I am your host, David Pinter. And in this session, what we're going to be discussing is working with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Acrobat and creating interactive buttons with labels. So what's going to happen here is in the Acrobat file, we're going to be able to hover over the top of these red markers, one, two, and three, and these labels will then pop up. So let me show you how that's done. I, I'm here inside of Illustrator right now. And as you can see, I have all of my layers already set up. However, when I export them into Acrobat, they need to be a certain setup inside of your layers palette. So let me show you how this is done. Let's take a look at the Mescal Trail label and line that we have here. We want to put those into a separate folder. So I'm going to come up here onto layer one and create a new folder here by clicking this plus button. And what we're going to do is we're going to call that Mescal and hit return on the keyboard. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the items, the text, the rectangular box, and the line, and then drag those up inside of that folder. We're going to keep the marker down here in the layer one. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another folder called Long Canyon. Hit return, and then again, respectively, drag those three items up into that one folder. And then one more time, we're going to be creating another folder called Boynton Canyon. Hit return, and then again, finally, we're going to place these objects into that folder. Now, what's going to happen is when we now export this as a PDF document, we want to make sure that these three items are invisible. So let me just hide the eyeballs on those three. Now this document now is ready to export into Acrobat. So we're going to go File, come up here, and then come down to Save As, okay? And then we're going to save it as a PDF. So we'll call it Interactive PDF Buttons. Hit Save. Now the most important thing to know is on the bottom here where it says Create Acrobat Layers from Top Level Layer, we want to make sure that that is checked like this. You can mess around with the compression and so forth, but we want to make sure that this is checked so we'll have those layers inside of Acrobat. And then we'll just hit Save PDF. Now if we come over here now to Acrobat, we want to basically locate that file. It's right here, Interactive PDF Buttons. We'll just simply just double click that and open it up. So as you can tell, the location markers came in, but you cannot see any of the labels. But the first thing that we have to do is we have to prepare this document for the actions to work. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to Prepare Form. You can find it here off to the right side, or you can come over here to Tools and then find it here where it says Prepare Form. Make sure this is selected and then hit Start. This dialog box pops up and says No New Form Field Annotations Were Detected. Just hit OK. If you'll notice off to the left side here, it has the little layers icon. Click that layers icon and now you can see the three hidden layers. There's one there, one here, and then one here. Those are the labels. So what we want to do is we want to simply just come down here and then click on the eyeball of the first one. Come up here to this little button here along the top menu here. It says add a print or clear or other kind of a button. So I'm going to click on that and then drag out a rectangle around that marker. That will be the actual active state. And then we're going to call it Mescal. Like that. And then come down to All Properties. Click that. We want to make sure that this right here is going to be transparent. So I'm going to come down to Fill Color, click that little button, and then come down to here, and then click on the little checkbox for Transparent. There. So it's invisible. Now we want to make sure that the options are for Label Only, and then the Actions, we're going to come over here and select from the Select Trigger button, Mouse Enter. So when the mouse enters, we want it to be seen, and when the mouse goes away from that one area, it disappears. So we have that set, but we want to make sure that this right here is set to Set Layer Visibility. So mouse enter and then Set Layer Visibility, and now you can add. We'll just hit OK and then close it. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here to the eyeball, we're gonna hide the eyeball, right click the button that we've just created and go to properties. And then we're gonna to go to mouse exit here. And then again, leave it at set layer visibility and hit add. And just hit okay. And now you'll have two, you'll have a mouse enter and a mouse exit and hit close. So now if we test this, we go over to preview here, we'll notice that when I come over to the item, you'll see now that it will then pop up like this. Okay, so let's finish the other one. We're gonna come over here now to Long Canyon. I'm gonna make a button around it like this. Like that. I'm gonna call it Long Canyon. Properties. The appearance, we want to make sure that we have a transparency to this. We're going to make sure that the options are labeled only and then the actions we're going to go into a mouse enter state, set layer visibility, we're going to add that, we'll hit OK, close it. Now we're going to take that eyeball off, right click it, go back into properties again and now we're going to go into a mouse exit so we won't be able to see the layer. Set layer visibility, add. Hit OK and then close. I'm going to go over to one more here now. We're going to go over to the Boynton Canyon one. We're going to draw a little box around that for a button and we'll call that Boynton Canyon. All properties, appearance, the fill color, again transparent. Options, label only, and then finally actions on mouse enter since it's visible right now. Set layer visibility, we'll hit add, close it, and then now hide that eyeball and then do the same process. So properties, mouse exit, and then layer set layer visibility, we'll add that in and we'll hit OK. So we have a mouse enter and we have a mouse exit. On the enter, we'll be able to see the label. On the exit, it then disappears. We'll hit close. So let's preview this. When I roll over the, the label, you'll see the Boynton Canyon Trail label pop up over here, the Long Canyon Trail, and then finally the Mescal Trail label and the lines. So there you go. Working with objects and buttons inside of Illustrator and Adobe Acrobat.